Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Khurana, your host on Click Digest, and we have recently done a video on how to upgrade to Android version 6.0 Marshmallow. And in this video, we are going to talk about the top features of Android 6.0 and what has changed between Android 5.0 and 6.0. Let's get started. The biggest change in Android Marshmallow is the app permissions. Now you can set on application level what all permissions that you want to grant for a particular application if you want a certain application to not access your call logs or not access your contacts you can do so just go into applications tap on the app click on permissions tab and turn on or turn off permissions based on your preference these kind of options were earlier available only on certain custom roms and not on stock android but now stock Android with version 6.0 supports that. The next feature is Chrome custom tabs. Now applications can invoke a pop-up browser window from Google Chrome without taking over all the control to Google Chrome and opening Chrome as a separate application. So within an app, you can see a frame of Chrome opening up without making you go away from the application that is for a more seamless user experience. Next feature is improved do not disturb mode. The do not disturb mode now comes with more options and gives you more customizations. Now you can more granularly control what all notifications you want to see when you want to see the do not disturb mode and when you do not want. It's also provided in a very nifty and easy to control toggle now in the notification toggle bar. Next change we observe in the storage. When you go into storage settings, you see more detailed settings and you can check out what is consuming, how much storage very easily. So this part of the interface has been added with much more functionality now. Other new feature is now on tap. Now on tap means now you can invoke Google now on any screen that is on your phone. You just long press on the home button and it will scan the screen that you are viewing and give you Google now cards for the information that is on your screen right now within any application. Google photos which was earlier implemented through Google Plus application is now more native. The Photos app which is the native gallery app on Nexus devices now comes with automatic backup for your pictures and you can configure it right in the Photos app and do not need to set any settings on the Google Plus. Another feature that has been added to Android 6.0 is the native fingerprint scanner support. The Nexus 6 that we are using here does not come with a fingerprint scanner but now on any device that runs Android 6.0 and comes with a fingerprint scanner will have native support for fingerprint scanning. And that allows Google to set up services like Google Pay or doing authentication for multiple applications using fingerprints. Android 6.0 also improves on power saving feature called Doze. Doze were also implemented on Nexus 9 as a part of limited software, but now it's a standard part of Android 6.0 in which it optimizes on the battery use by reducing the CPU wake up and optimizes and reduces battery consumption when the phone is in standby mode. The volume control menu has also been optimized. This is a small but nifty feature. Now when you change the volume, you can simply tap and control the volume of media, notifications, as well as the ringtone volume separately as three different sliders if you want to. Another feature that we have seen is new on Android 6.0 is the memory setting that you find under settings. That shows you the memory usage average for last 3 hours, 6 hours, 12 hours and 1 day that lets you understand better which applications are consuming more memory or more RAM which in turn helps you to optimize your phone by removing unnecessary applications which are hogging memory. Direct share is also one more feature introduced with Android 6.0 that helps you share data across applications very easily. The floating toolbar has been added to cut copy paste options that is also a new feature. Android 6.0 also enables tap and pay. Tap and pay is nothing but the NFC enabled payment solution by Google which is somewhat similar to Apple Pay or Samsung Pay. Visual voicemail is another enhancement done by Google for voicemail service that also requires some support from carriers and has revamped the way you listen to your voicemail. The application drawer on Android 6.0 is also different from what it used to be in 5.0. Now it scrolls vertically and you can also slide towards the end to alphabetically browse through applications very quickly. And last but not the least, Android 6.0 enables network setting reset under backup and restore options. This option was earlier missing, 
and now it can selectively reset the network settings which includes reset for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and cellular data settings. With this, we wrap up this video. These were the key highlight features of the Android 6.0 that differentiate it from the Android 5.0 Lollipop. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. And for more such videos by Inclick Digest, make sure you hit the red subscribe button and stay subscribed. I hope to see you on my next video. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.